is the uh, Greek name of Sky. And uh, I will talk about uh, this one, how it connects applications and about some clouds on this sky. Uh, the project started in uh, 2004, it's a pretty old one. So it uh, had um, in its first uh, releases uh, ICC profiles included, which I created to have something for, for Linux. This included uh, printing profiles for standard conditions and a, a library for, for configuration of, set, of settings and uh, of default profiles. And the background for this work was uh, my work on panoramic photography in Hügen. So uh, you you know you have high contrast in, inside panoramic photographs, and also need uh, color management to to get uh, a nice impression of the stuff. At this time, most people had just put uh, RGB uh, on screen, and it looked sometimes pretty ugly. So I decided to concentrate on this stuff and. Uh, this was uh, during my uh, work on, on Kini Paint, uh, uh, an image editor. So we had uh, color management inside where, which uh, supported uh, high dynamic range uh, colors and imagery. RCC profile uh, support was uh, included there. And we had, of course, uh, the, the user base of uh, uh, moving picture editors, which used the application and also wanted to uh, to, to get familiar with this new kind of workflow. Today, uh, more and more people from this industry are committed to ICC color management. There are even projects from industry leaders uh, who implement the stuff as uh, not your project. But in this time, as we started, it was pretty new to them, and they was on the standpoint just one color space is a standard one and. Uh, we don't need ICC stuff. So it was uh, pretty early time. And with this library, with the Ivanus library, I wanted to, to get out color management to the, um, to the Linux platform and have uh, some, something which many applications can use. So what is Ivanus is uh, pretty much a C library with uh, relatively few dependencies in, inside its core. It's, it has a C API and it's licensed new by BSD for uh, wide employment by uh, very different users. It does, um, it does support profile lookup, so you can ask uh, tools and of course the C API to get to find profiles in, in the system and it knows about the the according paths, uh, as I mentioned, uh, settings for rendering intent, black point compensation, and all the stuff you see normally in your image edi editor in, your, in the color management tab, in the GIMP and Inkscape, and in all these applications in Krita and so on. And uh, so the idea was to have this in, inside the system settings or, uh, of your desktop panel in KDE, in GNOME, and LXD, and so on. And the applications use uh, all the these common settings. It uh, has on on user demand uh, a concept of grouping all these settings, so you can just uh, load one file containing your production standards, including special print file, uh, printer profiles, spe special rendering intents, and uh, editing spaces which you want to use in, in your applications. And easily exchange this if you have a new customer, so uh, switching is straightforward. Uh, we have implemented uh, a plug-in uh, system in order to have pluggable uh, CMMs. So these are the, the uh, color matching modules, which does the actual colorimetric work by reading ICC profiles, doing color conversions and color lookups and so on. Uh, Orenus itself is pretty much uh, about this level, so it doesn't know how to calculate with colors itself, but it uses CMMs which implements these are LCMS, um, Argil would be a candidate to to use uh, this AP and uh, as, as a backend, and also maybe some OpenGL um, um, 
CMM, which can help in speeding up such stuff. And that's usually you see just the front end API and can uh, use the back ends as we are available and supported. Yeah, this is the color uh, conversion framework. And we have some, um, we had some need to have as well um, very specialized uh, stuff and uh, decided to um, to move this outside. So the lib XCMM, so X color man management implementation is a standalone library, now, but uh, it grew out of the Arunas project and it's pretty much needed by this library still. It, uh, the X color management spec is uh, about defining color regions and per window ICC profiles and it, um, it helps creating new clients which can work with color servers. This means um, an application which runs in your window manager and does color correction for the whole screen, including icons uh, and um, window borders, background and so on. Uh, Organos has, uh, one of the, is one of the few applications uh, which has multi-monitor support if you like to use it. Um, it as an example uh, application, and I think also the ETC examine tool uses this um, this capability to place per per monitor colors uh, corrected on on the screen. It's pretty handsome to, to just need not care about where you place your window and what colors you see. So it's a trouble-less approach. Um, it's not easy for for each client to implement it, uh, but on the client side. Uh, no, not easy for each color server to implement it. Uh, I think in the discussion about KVIN and also I think Matter, there were some problems to, to, to use this approach. But in, inside the client application, you, you can um, take advantage of this uh, of this feature if you use Arunas, but of course you can implement it yourself if you like so. And recently, uh, uh, by the last year, Google Summer of Code project, uh, of the X common printing dialog, which uh, was supposed to uh, implement color management in the common printing dialog project from openprinting.org. Uh, the students um, implemented PDF color management, which is about embedding an ICC profile inside a PDF, a spooling document, and uh, there is much needed behind the scenes to make these PDFs consistent. Typical applications try just device RGB because it's most easy to define and we silently assume this is as RGB but, um, but it's not really well defined so when we need uh, to be done something about this uh, PDFs and PostScript files and libxcmpx uh, is supposed to do this work and is uh, the creation of printing dialogues. We have now a, a project which will use this library uh, for, the, for the Krita printing dialogue from the same students. So this is an uh, overview of what the architecture of Arunas might look like. You see in, in the middle the Arunas core library some uh, device dependent modules on the right side and on the left the different uh, on the bottom left the different uh, databases from which you can select RCC profiles and preferences and so on. So we have support for a database which is simply constructed of the ICC profiles themselves and use the metadata which are inside the profiles for selecting the right monitor profile. You just can take a ICC profile with this uh, metadata, put it in your uh, according for, uh, ICC profile path and then the system will detect this and select it for your monitor if, it's, if the right monitor is connected. And you have support for taxi DB so you want you might want to look up profiles in the internet. Other users might have created such profiles for your device already and owners can download them, select them and use them. And of course there are some, some uses of owners uh, as shown above. 
wenn sie klar ist. Ja, Amnes ähm, ist ein, as I said, is a very old approach, an uh, old project. So it was much used to to prototypes, to play around with color management and uh, implement things, and later to um, to create specifications uh, of them, which are as uh, you can imagine, which were discussed on the open ICC list and and to help other applications to implement the same stuff to to learn from this stuff and make it easier to uh, to exchange on 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 a, on a, on a similar ground on on in, in the kind of specs so we have created the open IC profile proposal and um the net color spec which was uh, the previous form of the x color management spec and now moved uh, on to new format and with Valent we uh, of course need also an, uh, uh, a new form of this, but uh, this is work for the future. Uh, Aranus uses uh, Electra library for configuration. This is a library which was supposed to share configuration among uh, different desktop environments and be pretty uh, um, pretty agnostic from dconfig and kconfig and have a common API for different kinds of uh, backends. So either we, uh, we can use Electra for the new proposed um, JSON database which, which should be used uh, by the OpenICC applications which would be nice to be used or we use uh, another library to uh, make the switch to the JSONDB. Let's see how it will work out. We prototyped as well as the um, uh, PDDT tag. This is uh, um, the former version of the ICC meter tag. And uh, so we gained some experience and gave some feedback to the ICC. And also helped to uh, specify and to propose to the ICC the special inclination of this meter tag for monitors. Yeah, and in my previous uh, presentation I mentioned as well the meter tag for printing, which is work to be done for PDF and uh, PBD color management. So users are ICC examen. Um, as I said, it was much fun in the beginning and some um, some playing around with, with color management stuff. And ICC uh, examen is an application which shows you the internals of ICC profiles. And as I'm a visual guy, I need something to see some uh, some graphs and curves and so on. And so it helps me to understand what happens where. And you can even uh, look three dimensional uh, so, uh, so colors in, in a three dimensional LHB. <coughs> So, an LHB space and see colors inside uh, of this uh, color space by using named color profiles. This is as well used in in, uh, in, in Cine Paint to to understand what means rendering intent and see the move of colors. And so, it's pretty a pretty educational uh, tool. And there's much technology inside, like the client multi monitor color correction, which is already used inside this. Uh, Tool. Then we have the color management, color manager, uh, KDE front end, which is also uh, uh, running since some year. This this project and it is now in KDE extra gear. Uh, the first release was this year, and uh, now is following the Cinefo, which means cloud of in in, in Greek, and this is uh, a pure Qt. Uh, Front end to Albanus, and this um, is pretty much the same like Color Manager, just not uh, inside the KDE configuration panel. Uh, another project which is interesting is the Compic uh, plugin to Compits. Unfortunately, Compits is a moving target, and uh, it's not easy to support still the open as uh, the old. API of Combits, which is, was, was C, now it's moving to C++, and you know Combits has some distribution problems, uh, so it's only used on 
Ubuntu at the moment. But uh, inside this uh, color server, we have uh, what you can see on, on Apple OS X, that you have an instant uh, color correction based on ICC profiles for the whole desktop, for the whole screen. And I think it's uh, a pretty nice technology to have uh, fast color corrections on the GPU for um, for every application. This is of course the output side, you need correct input profiles, um, but it's also implemented inside this uh, color server. And then there is the KinePaint image editor which uses um, Ironos for its settings and has a pretty good integration in all this stuff, so it is a client as well to the, to the color communication with uh, with the Compic color server. So uh, you can uh, learn how stuff works in CinePaint and use it also these ideas for, for your own applications and for others. And one interesting project I think is um, with uh, CMMs and other uh, tools like tone mapping plugins you have lots of options which are uh, normally not exposed to uh, to your to your front end user interface, and what I really would like is to have a um, um, high level abstraction of these options uh, in, in the form of uh, X forms, and let different renders um, render them natively in your in your toolkit. So you have a command line and FLDK renderer at the moment already, and we have a Google Summer of Code project to extend to GDK and hopefully to Qt as well. So you can integrate. Um, the stuff in your in your application that have the CMYK, the CMYK uh, options of LCMS and maybe some smart uh, color uh, options from Argil which are not standardized and you usually would not support in your application but through the X forms uh, description you can uh, render them uh, nonetheless in your application. So that's not much uh, color specific but uh, we really need it and want to to have it implemented. The so next uh, targets for us are to have a better modularization of our code so the code generation should move forward and have all objects we have inside um, being converted to this uh, uh, code generator. Uh, the build system needs to uh, overhaul uh, from a custom one to CMake because it makes most sense to our uh, user base. And as I mentioned, uh, this open ICC uh, JSON database uh, using Electra or Gel, we will see what works best. And the uh, so, QT GDK widget rendering, yeah, okay, and better pinning support. I think I mentioned it already sometimes. So, and as the time was short, we are already almost over. Any questions? Um, no. Uh, it changes the PDF, I think, at the moment using GoScript. So you have an API which is pretty abstract, and in the background it calls GoScript and do some other custom stuff um, to change the device RGB to, to sRGB and uh, check as well if an output intent is already inside and uh, do the stuff to uh, uh, prepare the uh file for color management and this is what uh, is done as well on the apple platform so we have the green light for micro speed of of cups i think it's a, a nice approach and makes sense to use online okay so thanks for your attention and